Hi again! It's me, the one and only Anna June. I'm back for my fourth poetry reading. Um, I am going to do one more from the two-sided story. Um, this one's called Color Blinded. I think it's a really interesting piece because it kind of makes you think about why we all have different viewpoints and ideas and things like that. So I'm really excited and I'm glad you're back with me. Okay, let's get started. Color blinded. I have a question. Is art born or made? Is it instinct or trained? Do you even notice the subtle difference? How can one person see an infinite arrangement of colors, words, and expressions, while others never even offer a second glance at the landscape? What allows for the split in perspective? Because there are thousands of ways to express a single letter and its meaning when it is spoken in a variety of tongues. Or the way a river can be photographed over and over, but it will never be the same image captured. And the ways in which color and material things can be developed out of nothing to form a masterpiece. Yet not everyone has the power or will to succumb to those desires and passions that are generated from within. For it seems there are some who can only function by the rules of society being placed upon them by an outer force. Some will never understand those who stop for an extra 10 seconds on the sidewalk to look up at the clouds and envision how the scene would look within a movie. Or they will never learn how to embrace the peace and tranquility that comes from the rests and pauses in a composed concert piece. It is unfair how so few who possess the gift of details tap into it, and how the people who do not have the capability shun every tiny artful sensory. Two worlds that are meant to coexist within our very minds, and still so few let it encompass them. We have to be willing to pause more often, or we let life pass us by in the dullest of ways, and we lose the talent from those who stick their neck out on a limb to express what is contained inside of us as a human. There are too many angles to use which scares people into looking at a twinkling city first thing in the morning or defining a simple phrase from a book to their friend in a way that adds depth. Each movement, each speech, and each vision all bring bright new colors to the redundancy we have fallen into. It is our duty to listen to those hidden songs and let the universe flower before us in a way that reminds us we all need to remember it is a one day at a time mentality. Because what would you do? If your life flashed before your eyes as you fall asleep and you realize you've ignored all your potential because you believe art cannot be crafted out of nothing. Thank you again for tuning in to my poetry reading and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back again here soon, maybe with some new stuff. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I know that there's something great coming. Um, but yeah, so until next time, bye!